Thank you. I it know. It is remarkable. I'm, yeah. Thanks. It's I'm a California kid at heart, so you are a California it feels guy. Good, you know, coming back to this. I don't state. think Boston people like to admit that, but yes, you I'm are. I'm an adopted Bostonian. I've from been there California. for yeah, longer, actually, in Massachusetts than I have been. In a way, you're an abducted Bostonian, aren't you? I, I mean, they are out, never but, letting yeah. you go. You're never leaving Probably that not. area. Probably not. I'm certainly no football expert, but I do know everyone out there was shocked to hear that Tom Brady was leaving the New England Patriots after a long 20-year career with them. Tom and his wife Giselle also put their mega estate in Brookline, Massachusetts on the market some months back, which is when fans started to wonder. He just may be looking to buy a new mansion in Tampa Bay soon. In this video, we'll look at where Tom called home with his family in Brookline, his other properties and more. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. or Tom Brady is a famous American football quarterback who's currently a free agent. He spent 20 seasons with the New England Patriots and played in a record nine Super Bowls, winning six of them. Due to his multiple awards and records, many consider Tom to be the best quarterback of all time. Like I said, he's a free agent and just announced earlier this week that he won't return to the Patriots in 2020. However, the NFL just reported that Tom finalized an agreement to join the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a deal worth about 30 mil per year. If this is true, we can guess that Tom and his family will be making a big move down south. Between Tom's base pay salary, winnings, and other things like endorsements, which he has several of, the man is making multi-millions. His estimated net worth at the moment is $180 million or more. Not to mention he's been married to supermodel Giselle Bunchen since 2009 and the pair has two kids together. And of course, she's one of the world's highest paid models with a current net worth of about $480 million. Combined, these two have quite the empire, and they also love buying and selling multi-million dollar real estate across the US, which earns them even more money most of the time. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be looking at the famous quarterback Tom Brady, the places he calls home with his fam, including their mega mansion in Brookline that's on the market, their New York penthouse, and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Ellen DeGeneres and The Rock, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So like I mentioned, the couple has bought and sold a lot of homes over the years and it would be too much to see them all. But I'll start with one of my personal faves. Tom and Giselle's previous Los Angeles mega mansion they ended up selling to another celeb. Tom bought the property in 2008 for $11.75 million and the couple spent about four years creating their dream home to stay in during off season, investing a total of about $20 million considering they built the home from the ground up. The home is located in Brentwood, a quiet upscale neighborhood on the west side of LA outside of Beverly Hills. There are plenty of private tree-lined streets and views of the city here. Some famous neighbors here include Arnold Schwarzenegger and Hailey Klum and Seal. Tom and Giselle's mansion sat on four acres of property at the top of a winding driveway and was designed in a French country chateau style. Not to mention it was environmentally conscious. The couple worked with architect Richard Landry and one of his collaborators to create the home. After three years of construction, or more, the house spanned over 18,000 square feet of living space and had eight bedrooms and nine baths. There was a double height entryway that let in plenty of natural light as well as a center hall, great room, large kitchen, dining room and family room, along with seven fireplaces throughout. One of those fireplaces was in the expansive master suite the couple shared. Their bedroom also had a custom chandelier, huge walk-in closet, master bath, and a walk-out terrace or balcony. Tom's previous mansion has two full wings and the design featured a lot of reclaimed wood, salvaged tile, and antique doors. The home's walls were a blend of three types of Texas limestone and there were steel doors and windows. Frames. Other features of their Brentwood mansion included a library, full gym and weight room that was perfect for Tom to train in, a wine cellar, a sauna, multiple covered terraces, and a six car garage. Outside the house, there's a cobblestone motor court, a koi pond waterfall, and even a moat complete with a bridge surrounding it, giving the mansion a classic medieval vibe. Not to mention, out back you'll find the massive pool and spa with full pool deck and cabana. 
Despite the humongous size of Tom and Giselle's LA home, the palace is environmentally friendly. The grounds are irrigated by an eco-friendly gray water system and electricity is supplied via solar panels. Gisela said, We are excited to be using solar power as the main source of electricity in our home, and we are planting our own herbs, fruits, and vegetables, which will be my favorite part of the house. The home also has eco-friendly heating and cooling systems. And the couple did have a full garden which grew apples, peaches, plums, carrots, tomatoes, and much more. Not to mention they also had a chicken coop with hens that provided the family with fresh eggs. A micro farm being one of the things Giselle wanted to have to live mindfully. Despite how hard they worked on making this LA estate a dream home, they ended up selling it a few years back to none other than Dr. Dre for around 40 million. Safe to say they made some money on that deal and I wonder if he kept some chickens. It would appear that Tom has been house hunting for a bit now because the main mansion the family is called home is currently on the market. Back in 2015, this estate was custom built for the couple, also designed by their architect architect buddy Richard Landry. This place is located in Brookline, Massachusetts, which is a town on Norfolk County and part of Greater Boston. Tom's house sits on a massive five acres of land, five miles from Back Bay, and is adjacent to The Country Club, which is a historic country club there. The driveway can hold up to 20 cars and there's also a three car garage. The mansion spans over 10,000 square feet of living space and has five beds and seven baths. Not to mention there's an additional 2,400 square feet of living space in the detached barn an inspired guest house. There you'll also find a yoga studio, bathroom, sleeping loft, and walls that open up for total fresh air. Tom and Giselle had a dramatic entry when you first walk in the home, which led to a formal dining room, great room, family room, Eden chef's kitchen, home office, and more, located on the main floor. All of the living spaces have both classic cozy touches and modern amenities. The study in this place was actually shown in the Facebook series, Tom vs. Time, and it's where Tom watches film extensively. The grand stage the stairwell leads you to the five bedrooms on the upper level of the mansion where Tom and Giselle had their master suite as well as the kids rooms and guest rooms. Then on the lower level, other features include a recreation room, kids playroom, full bath, wine room, home gym, spa, and movie theater. Outside Tom's Brookline mansion, the park-like grounds offer a huge swimming pool, patio, and more, including a fruit and vegetable garden which was probably thanks to Giselle. Despite the fact the family called this place home for quite some time, it was put on the market in the summer for around 40 million, which is when fans first got curious about Tom possibly making a move. According to the online listing, the current price is now listed at just under 34 million, if you're interested that is. Another place that Tom has real estate is also New York City. Back in 2016, it was reported him and Giselle put down about 20 million on a penthouse apartment in a waterfront Tribeca building. This place is located at 70 Vestry, which is a luxury Robert A. N. Stern design building overlooking the Hudson River. Apparently, the couple Apple's massive five bedroom apartment is located on a high floor and spans 5,000 square feet of living space. Any kind of real estate in Manhattan is expensive, so I'm not too shocked hearing the price tag. They bought the property a couple of years before the building was done construction, and they were the first celebrities to purchase. The apartments here offer natural light and an open floor plan, plenty of space, and stunning views of the city. There are expansive terraces on each floor looking towards the water, courtyard, or skyline. Tom and Giselle's Tribeca penthouse also also has a chef's kitchen with top of the line appliances, sub-zero wine storage, and built-in coffee makers. One of the family rooms extends off of the kitchen and there's a separate library or study with a wet bar. The couple's bedroom has an ensuite bath fitted with custom marble on the walls, floors, and vanities. There's also an extra pad room that's equally glamorous. The limestone building is 14 stories high and has the ability to attract high profile residents thanks to the foolproof privacy and security. For example, residents can enter by driving into a covered secret entrance and the automated garage is actually designed to shield against paparazzi and intruders. Tom's building also has amenities such as a squash court, an 82 foot pool with a spa, complete with a marble lined sauna and steam room, as well as studios for cycling, yoga and pilates. For choir activities you also have access to a communal library, lounge, billiards room and more. This building is geared towards families considering they offer both a separate children's pool and a large dedicated playroom for the kids. Looking at all these features, it's easy to see why Tom and Giselle chose a penthouse in this particular New York high-rise. 
So now we've seen Tom Brady and his wife Giselle's properties, including their current Brookline mega mansion they've put up for sale. Their Tribeca penthouse worth multi-millions and more. Out of these mansions, which was your favorite? I personally like the French country estate in LA they built and sold to Dr. Dre. Not only does Tom own these places, the couple is also said to have several vacation spots together like one in Silo Ridge, New York, and one in Big Sky, Montana. There they're members of the ultra-exclusive Yellowstone Club, which is a private ski resort that costs 400 k to join with annual fees of 40 k But if we've learned anything, Tom and Giselle have a massive net worth and he'll probably be making even more money now if he signs to Tampa. Although they were spotted a while ago house hunting in New Jersey, now they may be looking further south. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our recent Ellen DeGeneres house tour, Nicholas763 wrote, I love this channel, great video, and every other video is awesome. I love you did this video with Ellen's house. Thank you, Nicholas. Leo Mangana also commented saying, Awesome video, why not do Blake Shelton next? Thanks Leo, I really like him and I'll add him to my list. I also got a request for Janet Jackson, which is another good pick. So thanks guys for the great suggestions. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Tom Brady's properties like the main home in Brookline he's been living in with his fam that's now on the market. Did you guys like the couple's mega mansions? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity homes you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!